Yeah, and you have to take the walk in. All right, no worry. That's all right. Are you okay? Welcome to live stream from Menworth Hill. Um, it's quite breezy as you can see, so all the flags are flowing lovely. Um, we've just been having some dialogue with some of the officers here that are quoting health and safety, quoting statistics about arrests, telling us to move out of the way or to be arrested or will come to harm and um, actually stood in front of us at some point of um, well whilst we're protesting so my questions were what, what, what is the history of this protest Don't touch me, don't Not touch me, it. don't touch me. I'm alright, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what that were about, he told me to step back and stood in front of me. I didn't stand back and then he said thank you, so that's nice, good manners. So we had a lovely um, uh, visitor from South Korea, uh, uh, Francis, from, uh, who's a peace activist in um, South Korea on Saturday. So we had a lovely, lovely meeting and discussion, which was ever so peaceful. Um, and it would have been nice uh, for Francis to probably see our demonstration uh, up here um, and some of the um, confrontation we get sometimes and, and um, I think that some of the officers here struggle to understand what protest is about because protest is meant to cause an inconvenience they're not here to tell us what to do. They're not here to say where we can protest. They're here to facilitate. And again, um, we've had uh, the case that we wanted to get to court dropped because of 
not enough evidence. Well, actually, it's not because there's not enough evidence. We've got enough evidence. They don't want it in court because they're not very good in court. Because every time they arrest us and it gets to court, they lose. So we would prefer it to go to court. If you look at that beautiful view, this is Nidderdale. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning. Stunningly beautiful. And then you've got that blot on the land. This is putting people at risk here. For communication. It's meant to be communications. So if we went to war, and this is run by the Americans, they call the shots here, they tell these guys what to do. We know that. There's nothing to do with, I mean, they're wearing, they might as well just be wearing corporate uniforms or American uniforms because actually it's the Americans that, that tell them what to do. So um, we know that. Um, that if we did ever go to war with a nation because we piss that many people off if we did ever go to war uh, with any other nation what's the first thing that people would target? yeah, the communications because this is, this is meant to be a communication but it's a spying it's spying What did you say, sorry? Just take a step back, please. What did you say after that? Officers, Officers given, uh, given a lawful order. What is a lawful order? order? I'm asking you a question, what is a lawful order? What is a lawful order? I'm not here to answer questions from you. You are here to answer questions. No, I'm not here Yeah, you are. You are. Yeah, facilitate. Are you not a, are you not a public servant? No? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not here to answer questions? You're not, well, how are you protecting me? How are you protecting me when you're protecting a base like that? It's complicit in the murder of babies and you're part of that. Yep. Murder of babies in Yemen, that's complicit and you're part of that. So who on earth are you protecting? Because you're not protecting me either. You can't tell me what the health and safety is here. You can't quote the policy. We know, we've seen the policy. We know where it derived from. Oh, oh. We shouldn't be coming out the wrong way then, should I? So you've got clearly officers that are being told what to do by the Americans. But when you question that, they have no idea. No idea. So I'm here because we don't want this base here. We don't want this American base here because up there it says Royal Air Force. That's absolutely untrue. It's Nas National Security Agency. And we know that. So there's always been a protest up here for many, many, many years and I'm just, I've been coming up for many years but I'm still a newbie. Um, we have Lindis Percy um, and Annie who came up here and Christine and lots and lots of what which was formerly CAB campaign for the American air bases in, um, against the American air bases and sorry for the accountability of uh, American bases <coughs> excuse me a minute um, so that that's no longer going um, so we 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 took up um, another um, Menwithville accountability campaign which is who we are um, so we protest on an evening it might be an evening it, um, between 6 and 7 30 at the base 
road clear. The road's clear. Why wasn't it clear? Why do you keep having to back your orders? So, last week when I was here, the crew bus came out, which is like a little mini bus. And when I, when I film, and I have my body cam on as well, and when I film, if I see any children in cars that are coming out, I avert my, my face away because I, I don't think it's fair. I, I try to turn my back so that children are not frightened. However, the crew bus came out and uh, the man wanted me to stop filming. Um, um, and I absolutely said no, it's, I wasn't filming him. I was filming the base. It just happened to be that he was there. And then he just proceeded to drive towards me. And this is what you get. This is the mentality that you get. I think we've lost um, some understanding of peaceful protest. And whilst we're up here, we're always very peaceful, very challenging. And we challenge the officers. Um, however, it is about non-violent direct action never anything that could be construed as as violent or aggressive in fact one of the officers has kind of um, insinuated to this evening that we get agitated or aggrieved by things and um, I asked him to evidence that um, <coughs> and um, he couldn't So what we, we know is that these officers that are up here are human beings and we don't want anything to happen to them. So not only are we here to campaign for against the American bases and the, the risk that it poses to the surrounding areas and to the murderous things that happen in, in, uh, in Yemen. Palestine, Pakistan, 